just got a Kickstarter. Yeah. There you go. There it is. What's wrong with that? Oh, look. Whoa. What's it doing? It's burning oil. It is. It's time for rings. Oh, look at that. Don't uh, hit it. You're making it worse. Uh, <laughs> Cut it off. <laughs> I think you just burnt the rings out. All right, George, I'm going to go get a grinder. All right. Milwaukee or the yellow one? No. Hashtag Team Red. Nope. 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 Grinder. Really looking for electric. Electric. Nope. 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 Yes. Okay, so one of my favorite colored S2000s here. This is a car we did, an FX400, uh, about a month ago, maybe two months ago. Uh, fast forward, the clutch is a little too aggressive for him. And again, this is coming from a customer that is used to a bone stock clutch, which is very, very soft, very forgiving. The FX400 is very soft, but the engagement window is kind of short. I'll explain that here in a minute. And another problem, which is probably amplifying the problem, and I've seen this once or twice before, is it's got a creaking in the pedal. Now listen to this, I'm gonna push it really slow. It's kinda of hard to hear that, I can feel it in the pedal. You especially got a slight creak in here when you push this down, and there is a bushing up in that pedal assembly which as the car gets warm, it's not really audible right now. But when it's warm, it's pretty loud. But listen, when you press that pedal down, it creaks and it makes it feel like it sticks almost. When it's cold, it's very, very, uh, very smooth, but when it warms up and the bushing in there gets kind of dry, it's a plastic bushing. In some cases, the bushing actually wears out when the grease is no longer in it. So. Long story, we're going to change it to an FX300. Uh, I talked to Clutch Masters yesterday and they actually released a video explaining their different stages of clutches. But I'm going to give you a quick drawing and a quick demonstration based on my opinion. So hopefully that will make a little bit of sense to you. All right, so this is my crude little drawing here just to give you a quick idea. This is the pedal. You put your foot on this, push it down. This is when it goes down to the floor. This is when you release it. So by pushing the clutch down, you're disengaging the clutch, which means the engine will run. You put the car in first gear. It's not gonna drive anywhere. Obviously the clutch all the way up is when your foot is off the pedal. So I don't deal with the FX500. I don't build a car that needs that clutch. It's a very aggressive clutch. I don't offer that clutch. I don't intend to. So let's go stage one through stage four. The pedal pressure here is pretty much the same means the pressure it takes for you to push that down and hold it is the same, very, very light. In fact, the Clutch Masters range, another reason I like it, is it has the same pedal pressure as the factory clutch. So the pressure it takes to push this down, put it in gear, release it, car engages. When I talk about the sweet spot or the engagement area or the engagement window, you've heard me talk about that. Clutch all the way down means car is not going to move, it's in first gear, there's no engagement. As you bring the clutch up, the sweet spot is the engagement point where it just starts to grab to the point where it's fully engaged. So in my opinion, again I'm going to use this just as a demonstration. The factory clutch, I would say the window is here to here. 
the sweet spot's very large. If you're sitting on a slight hill, you bring the clutch up to here, you can feel the car just starting to creep. You can keep moving it, keep moving it, keep moving it until the car is fully engaged. Sweet spot is wider. I would say the FX300 is about 70% of that. This is where it's just starting to engage or creep. This is where it's fully engaged. Again, same pedal pressure. FX400, I would say it is about half of the 300. That window is very small. I get used to driving these cars. and I also get to drive cars with very aggressive clutches. And I wish I had, I'm not gonna name brands, but a couple of the competition clutches in a car so I could line these cars up and say, drive that car and then drive this car. Maybe Clutch Masters, if you're uh, feeling fancy, maybe you can send us a couple of cars and we'll put the clutches in. Uh, just kidding. So this window is short, which means put the clutch down, shift, bring it up. This spot between slightly engaging or creep to fully engaging, very small. So the FX400, more aggressive clutch. And again, the different clutches, 400 is torque, not horsepower. On a Honda, 400 foot-pounds of torque is probably close to the 550 wheel horsepower. We don't build 550 wheel horsepower Kraftwerk cars. There's no reason for it. 300, obviously, 300 torque on an FX300. That is closer to 450, 460 wheel. So this is a better suited clutch, in my opinion. 400 is if you know you're going to do a more aggressive build. We also offer the FX350 which is 350 torque that feels very similar to the 300 we did that on the blue s2000 that came from texas that customer actually wanted the 350 we put it in his car i was very impressed with it we ordered some it feels like the 300 the 300 is carbon kevlar that clutch will last longer this won't last quite as long but it will handle more horsepower and torque so keep that in mind that is my quick demonstration of clutches. So this is the disc we just removed. As you see, it's still in excellent shape. It's, it's broken in, but it's broken in correctly. You see it's the larger springs and it's a six hook where the FX300 disc is, it's got the six smaller springs and the full face. It's a nice disc. This is actually the more expensive of the discs. So if you do, end up buying just the disc this is the more expensive of the group but we're going to clean everything make sure everything's super slick clean put it in and he's going to have to go ahead and break it in again but this one is close to oem clutch is nice and soft uh, we took the pedal apart and the little plastic bushing in there was a little dry we just cleaned it greased it and now it is slick as can be everything looked good in there so he's going to resell the disc and now it's as close to stock as you can get so i think he'll be happy he's just gonna have to go and break it in again but now it is smooth as silk <laughs> 